Now that we've got our page dimensions set up for a poster, we're going to start adding content. And this video is going to show you how to work with WordArt. WordArt hasn't changed all that much, although it is in a different location, and there are actually more ways to manipulate your WordArt and change the styles of it in comparison to other versions of Publisher. So to insert WordArt, you're going to come up to where it says Insert and you're going to go over to the icon that says word art and when you click on it you're going to notice you have a lot more choices than you had in the past in the past you normally just had these to choose from now you can choose a plain word art style the ones below it kind of will are in different styles they're in waves they're in circles so for my example i'm just going to choose one of the standard ones but even these standard ones you can manipulate after you've chosen so let's say i choose this word art style and you type in your text and let's say for example we're studying historical women so we're going to make this poster title about Harriet Tubman and then we're going to click OK and you're going to see it appears very small because again we're working with a very large size poster. This is 22 by 30 dimensions. Now when you put your cursor in the middle of your word art, you'll notice that it turns into four arrows. That's going to allow you to move your word art to wherever you want it. So I'm going to click and drag by holding my mouse button down so that I'm closer to the top of my screen. And then when you move your cursor to the corner of the word art where those little circles are, this will allow you to resize your word art so that you can see it. And again, you may need to adjust this depending on what other content you're going to add to your poster later. Now that we have this set up, if you'll notice at the top, okay, if we click on our word art, as soon as we click on it so that it's highlighted, meaning it's active, word art tools appear at the top in your ribbon, and you can actually adjust your word art. You can change the color of the word art by going onto the shape fill and if you just hover on some of the other colors you'll see in the background my title change you can also adjust the alignment you can also adjust the spacing between the letters by default it's on loose but if you want it to be normal it will get a little bit closer together if you want to have a shadow effect on your title you can look at some of these shadow effects over here and just experiment if you want to change the outline, and again you can sort of get a little preview of it as you hi highlight it. If you want the thickness of your border to thicken up, you can choose that as well. So those are just some of the features of WordArt. In the following tutorials, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding text boxes, which at this point you should already know how to do, and we're also going to be inserting clip art from the internet. 